Have you ever wondered what it takes to mine one Ethereum in 2020? Because basically, every year that goes by, mining cryptocurrency, especially the bigger and popular ones, becomes harder and harder. So we're gonna go into GPU mining profitability and ASIC mining profitability, and basically, you know, what does it take? What kind of mining hardware do you need to mine one Ethereum? And then also, what does it cost? And how do different electric rates come into play here as well as the availability of power. I'm Boss, you're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel, home of Tails, the most beautiful Shiba Inu, and thanks to an anonymous furry donor out there, we've got some Ethereum to give away on this video. All you've got to do is drop your Ethereum address in the comments below and let us know when you first heard about Ethereum. Was it two years ago? Was it this video? I want to hear. Ethereum is the second biggest cryptocurrency following only Bitcoin by coin market cap. It is significantly behind Bitcoin in coin market cap, but it is significantly ahead of every other cryptocurrency by coin market cap. As of today, it's trading at $211 per coin or about 0.0237. Bitcoin or those would be translated to Satoshis. Before we jump into exactly you know, what do you need to mine one Ethereum uh, in 2020 uh, per day, you would need to understand just the basics of Ethereum mining and well, for one, how many Ethereum are mined a day and thus, you know, how do we acquire one of those? So basically it's 13,642 Ethereum mined per day. Before I tell you what it takes to mine one Ethereum in 2020 with either GPU mining rigs or ASIC mining rigs, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Scott Offord. He is a bulk reseller of ASIC mining rigs. You can reach him right here. And uh, I can tell you that he would be able to get you a bulk supply of Ethereum ASIC mining rigs if that is something Something you would like to do. Any graphics card can mine Ethereum. But for today's video, we're going to focus all around the RX 470. It's a long time Ethereum uh, mining GPU. You can get them super cheap. I mean, look, first result here on eBay, first card is selling for uh, $55 or best offer and $11 to ship it, okay? Keep in mind, this is a four gigabyte card and four gigabyte cards are now having difficulty mining Ethereum. So the eight gigabyte cards are going to be the better bet. But again, here we go. Here's a lot of four and he has it listed for about $300. And he may be willing to take, say, 200 So I would imagine you're going to be paying about 50 bucks per card, especially when you're dealing in bulk. This is important when it comes to factoring or GPU mining rate costs. In comparison, the best and most profitable Ethereum ASIC miner, the InnoSilicon A10 ETHMaster, which is 500 mega hash a second, basically it costs $3,000 right now. It is still for sale. You can buy a ton of them if you would like to do so. So basically, I wrote this up in an article and posted it to Voscoin Talk, our crypto cryptocurrency form which we are more than welcome and really invited to join and participate here and uh, basically we're going to be looking at what it takes to mine one ethereum a day it's relatively simple and basic math you're going to need about 15,500 mega hash a second okay so that is the mining speed of ethereum so you're going to need the mining rigs to total up to this in mining power in order to mine an ethereum a day basically and what this comes out to so we're going to start with graphics cards and gpu mining and then i'm going to go over asic mining ethereum and the subsequent stats for that and then i'm going to basically compare them for you and just explain all the costs here and which ones to be honest the better option uh especially you know financially here so again, you're gonna need 552 AMD RX 470s, and that's priced at about $50 per card, and that's assuming that it's going to mine at about 28 mega hash a second and consume about 80 watts. Um, you know, those are just rough figures. 552 times 28 is gonna bring us to 15,456 mega hash a second, and that's going to draw approximately 44,000 watts of power okay and you know this is an estimated cost there's a ton of factors that come into play here but i would say it costs you about two thousand dollars per mining rig or less if you get some good deals and you know basically you know, put some work in there or you're open to use parts and whatever else basically per mining rig and if you were to build 69 of them that would cost you about a hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars in order to be mining one ethereum a day uh you know that's just the hardware here keep in mind 
to have a facility to support 69 8x GPU mining rigs where it's you know consuming 4,400 or 44,000 watts, which is basically creating a lot of heat that you're gonna have to dissipate. I would estimate you're gonna spend about $50 or $50, $50,000 on the uh, relevant infrastructure you know, to house that, say, you know, over the next several months, or even if you're lucky, maybe like a year. It depends if you, you know, if you own the property, lease, build it, whatever, and all the subsequent costs, like pooling power is not necessarily free. If you have an electric rate of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, so that would be like standard residential electric rate, it would cost you $106 a day, basically in power, and you would mine about $106 of daily mining profitability, or you would be mining about 0.5 Ethereum after you pay your electric bill. Technically, you're mining one, but you're spending half of that just on your electric bill. I went to two is half, so it'd be like half. So you would actually have to double these numbers to be mining one Ethereum a day at a residential electric rate and then actually get to keep one after you pay your electric bill. So, you know, that'd be like almost a quarter of a million dollars to spend. Okay, if you have the average uh, or electric cost of a mining farm in the USA, which I would say is five cents, then your power cost would be about $53 a day, leaving you with $160 of Ethereum mining profits or about, uh, you know, three quarters of an Ethereum or technically your mining Ether. Uh, per day. We've talked about Ethereum mining and ASIC mining and all that stuff a ton, right? Well, I'm not going to go into that. Basically, Ethereum was, and their mining al algorithm was supposed to be ASIC resistant uh, from the get-go, and that's also why GPUs can still mine on it profitably at all, because ASICs don't have a massive advantage, but they're still very much more efficient, which you'll quickly see here. So, it would take us 31 InnoSilicon A10 Ethereum ASIC miners to mine one Ethereum a day in 2020. It would cost you $56 a day if you pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour, leaving you with $156 of mining profitability or about three quarters Ether mined a day after paying your electric bill. If you had the same 31 InnoSilicon A10 Ethereum ASIC miners, the ETH master they call them, and uh, you had a mining farm that was only paying five cents per kilowatt hour as their electric rate, your daily power cost would only be $28, leaving you with the mining profitability of about $185 a day or about 0.9 Ether mined a day. Okay, so these things only cost, look, you can order them right now all over the site and look they say for a bulk purchase please contact minor order at innocilicon.coms.china and what that means is that they will reduce the price for bulk orders or at a minimum bulk orders are possible they also say that these uh orders are being shipped within seven business days okay so you know that's quick Okay, I'm not recommending these or anything. I'm just telling you that, that, that these are in stock. They have more of them, and they will be going to their destination. And this is also the new version with 5 gigabytes of memory. Okay, so these will have no issue continuing to mine Ethereum. Basically, the DAG size has recently, recently approached 4 gigabytes, and it simply makes it hard for machines, ASIC miners, or graphics cards with 4 gigabytes to be able to mine it, or the hash rate's dropping, or they just simply cannot load the DAG file and mine Ethereum at all. It's a little bit of the technical stuff you may not care, but that's just the background on that. If you wanted to buy 31 of those, it would cost you about $93,000. You may be able to get that reduced with a bulk purchase, or maybe you won't, and there actually be some ch uh, shipping and tariff charges put on top of that, okay? There's a lot of factors here. We're not going to fully flesh out every possibility here. Keep in mind, you only have 31 ASIC miners, and they only consume uh, 20,000 or 23,000 watts, okay? And that's why the power consumption, um, you know, is, uh, the power bill is so much lower in comparison to the GPU mining rigs. I mean, they're consuming half the power, and they are mining at twice the speed per unit. So you only have 31 units to account for, and you only have to dissipate the heat produced by 23,000 watts. In our DIY Voscoin shed mining farm, we've pulled much more than 20,000 watts, okay? So, like, that's not a lot of heat to dissipate. And I, I could have had all of these in my mining shed and I and I could have been mining an Ethereum a day, you know, if I had a hundred thousand dollars to throw down on these devices, you know. Well, you know, all the cards fell like that. My point is that th this is something, you know, and, you know, I estimated thirty thousand dollars to build an infrastructure like that. That's more of like a formal business and you're kind of looking to scale out. I mean, realistically, you could spend, you know, 
$3,000 and put it in a mining shed in your backyard if you had a good electric rate. I mean, really, it'd be more probably like five, $6,000. Depends how nice you want to do it and all that stuff and how much of the work you're doing yourself. But basically, it's not a lot. So we could even say $100,000 to implement this if you could do it on your own property if you had a great electric rate or access to something like that. So yeah, basically, to put it simply, it's going to cost about $100,000 to mine an Ethereum a day in 2020. Pretty impressive, Vitalik. Pretty impressive. Keep in mind, you know, while you can still mine with GPU miners profitably, it would cost you $138,000 just in GPU mining hardware estimated in comparison with $93,000 in ASIC mining hardware that per unit is twice as fast and consumes half the power. So you would have to manage half of the mining rigs and you would have half of the power bill. And and I've talked about this plenty of times before here on the channel, guys. I don't like ASIC mining. I don't like the manufacturers normally. I mean, you know, they're they're moving forward. They are getting better. The warranties are getting better. They're getting more responsive. And and honestly, that may largely be in part to the market we're in. If things were like a crazy bull run, maybe you know, all that stuff would just kind of go away because everybody wants what they've got. I'm not trying to hate on them a ton. Um, you know, this video isn't about that, but please just understand buying an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card and building a customized computer to mine with and the service you'll get on those parts and the availability is very, very different than what happens when you order a proprietary ASIC miner design from these Chinese companies that, you know, they basically produce this, everybody wants it, and they buy it. If it's got the, you know, performance at all, it's going to sell, okay, period. And, you know, at the end of the day, I guess the summary here is that, you know, just like uh, Bitcoin mining, which we recently talked about mining a Bitcoin in 2020, you know, Ethereum mining is absolutely an industrialized uh, mining aspect just like Bitcoin mining. It's much less industrialized in comparison, okay? So smaller players could still participate, but please understand it's a high risk and please understand that Ethereum is looking to move away from proof of work. Ethereum and their most of their developers, and I'm not trying to spread rumors and FUD and all that stuff, but it's just this simple. They don't care, by and large, about the miners and their community. They don't care about proof of work. They don't want to, they don't care. They think they're overpaid and they're pointless and they're destroying the world with proof of work and everything else. But I completely disagree because proof of work adds value. It adds a production cost to your coin. Otherwise, your coins are just made out of thin air. I don't know why I'm counting on my fingers okay but they're just made out of thin air like boom now you got coins that's the difference between bitcoin and its proof of work and, and why you know it was it's so awesome that bitcoin decided to use proof of work as the blockchain consensus mechanism on their cryptocurrency basically what runs it and all that stuff is because it creates a production cost it costs money to make a bitcoin through the use of power it costs money to make an ethereum all of these blockchains where they don't have proof of work, they don't have miners and stuff, it doesn't cost anything. They can just make more. That's it. That, that decreases the value short-term, medium-term, long-term for me with any cryptocurrency. But I could go on and on. Clearly, I like this stuff. If you like cryptocurrency or you want to learn more about it, please subscribe to the Vosco on YouTube channel. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Help us get there. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let us know your thoughts on Ethereum mining here in 2020.